All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, talking to Auburn football. Go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Uh, down in the deep south, college football is king, and on the plains of Auburn, the battle cry is War Eagle. So Auburn coming off of a 45-13 to win over Sanford, albeit an FCS school. We saw some signs of Peyton Thorne emerging into what he could possibly be as the quarterback for the Auburn Tigers. Now, 123 yards rushing on 11 carries, that accounts for about 34% of Peyton Thorne's total output as a running quarterback in his entire career. 410 yards between Michigan State and Auburn, and 123 of those coming just the other night. Um, about 11 yards per run. Now, it goes back to what Hugh Freeze was talking about, to where he was committed to the one quarterback system, giving Peyton Thorne the opportunity to find some rhythm, even though he had some adversities earlier in the game, had a couple of interceptions, including one interception in the red zone with a pass uh, to Shane Hooks, which I... I don't particularly like the design on the short side of the field. Shane Hooks had the opportunity to catch the football. He missed it, bounced off onto a Sanford football player, and that caused that interception there. And yet another interception a little bit later on in that game. But Peyton Thorne, I think what you got to get from him at this point, is you got to get some confidence. And I think that second half against Sanford gave Peyton Thorne the opportunity to gain some confidence and say, hey, I can run the football. I can throw the football around a little bit. I'm starting to find uh, some receivers that I can really depend on in certain situations. And we can also get to an opportunity to where, you know, we can utilize the run pass option as an entity in this game to get some of the running backs involved. Uh, Damari Austin is continuing to show emergence and catching the football out of the backfield. He's showing some diversity there. Uh, Jerquez Hunter did get hurt. And Jeremiah Cobb is starting to, to, to feel like, hey, I can have a spot in this running attack for the Auburn Tigers. And you can't discount Brian Batiste who can also run the football as well. So as Auburn continues to emerge and find ways to get different guys the football and also utilize Peyton Thorne as a runner and a passer, this could be some eye candy, especially for Texas A&M in this football game to say, hey, look, this guy, I know it's Sanford. I know it's Sanford, but... He's shown the ability to do this. Sanford is not necessarily just an average FCS football team. These are some guys that actually compete on a high level in the FCS. So this is a good litmus test for Auburn to see what they can do uh, down the stretch. Now, a lot of folks were probably like, well, man, the offense is sputtering. But, you know, you could see that Hugh Freeze was trying some stuff, especially down in the red zone where he went to the back shoulder throw two times in the red zone. Yes, he could have ran the football in for the touchdown and, you know, ran up the score and did all of those things. But what do you accomplish by doing that? You know, if you're you're a coach and you're trying to get these players prepared for SEC football play, why not try some things that you're going to probably have to try? Like, say, against Georgia, you're not going to just be able to pound the football even if you're down at the six-yard line, you're not going to just be able to pound the football down uh, for a touchdown. you got to find different, diverse ways to score touchdowns. And you can't always just say, hey, we're down in the red zone now, so let's just use Robbie Ashford to run it in. I like the play call. I want to say it was around the third quarter where Robbie Ashford comes in and he hands the ball off instead of, just trotting to the left or the right side of the football field to run the run the ball in. I thought that was really good eye candy 
four red zone concepts for the Auburn Tigers. Defensively, they continue to get takeaways. Excellent job with that. And we will see where Auburn continues to emerge even defensively. They've only allowed, you know, less than 20 points per game. And they're starting to show a trend to where not only can they hold teams to uh, minimal points, but they can also create turnovers. Let me know what you think about this video. Go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.